Is healthy a healthy lifestyle and wellness one of your goals for 2020? Hey, Cece Cheney here, and today I'm sharing uh, two tips from Oprah's um, tour that she's on about wellness for 2020. So I was reading an article this morning featuring some of her advice, right? So she's doing what she's calling the Vision 2020 tour, uh, and she's going kind of around the, the states, and she's sharing uh, tips about living well and that sort of a thing, and she's got like guests and all this thing. So I ran across an article this morning that actually shared five of her tips. I'm just going to share two of them with you that I thought were really um, powerful. Uh, if you're serious about really living well this new year and this new decade, right? So let's go ahead and dig in, right? Tip number one, and I just have them right here on my screen so I can read it off to you. Uh, these are Oprah's words, not mine, right? Is one, now is the time to gain a clearer vision and recognize what is holding you back from a healthier life. Set your intention, write it down, and go after it. Know the purpose you are here to fulfill on this planet. That's the real work for you in 2020. Powerful, right? Like, what is your vision for your life? What do you feel is holding you back from living that healthier life? And then really thinking about whether that's real or if that's a story that you're telling yourself about what you're, what you're, um, what you're capable of, right? So really setting that intention, writing it down and going after it. Have you done that yet, right? Have you done that? I know I talked about setting intentions a couple of lives ago um, for doing that before bed, but set your intentions before you do all of the things, right? Before I got on this live, I set my intention, right? Before I started my day, I set my intentions for the day. And if we're if you're walking into this new decade and this new year um, with intent, right, with intention, um, you can actually create that healthier, happier life that you're looking for. So get clear on that vision, right? That's number one. Number two, and I love this one because it's, it's honest, right? She says, only you are in control of your well-being. Check in on yourself throughout the day and take breaks as needed. You can find a minute of quiet for yourself wherever you are. You are worthy of quiet time. So I just want to ask you, do you feel like you're worthy? Do you feel like you're worthy to take a second and really check in with yourself, right? Because I hear people all the time talking about they don't have time and they can't do this and they can't do that. Um, but if you, um, if we're being real, right, you are in control of your well-being. This is, it's a choice, a set of choices that you have to make every single day to live well, to do what's right for you, to take that minute of quiet uh, for yourself because you deserve it and you are worthy of it, right? So, you know, taking some ownership and really being in control of your well-being is a huge, a huge lesson that she shared on her tour that I thought, wow, that could really benefit so many humans. Let me share that with you today. So those were the two tips that Oprah shared or two of the five tips that Oprah shared on how you can live well in 2020. Now, if you would really like to kick off 2020 on a healthy path, then be sure to join us for our 2020 quick kickoff event that is happening online this weekend. We're going to be sharing tips and inspiration to help you reclaim your physical and financial health. And the good news, it's completely free to attend. It's online. There will be a replay if you can't make it live. Simply send me a message saying add me and I will add you to the guest list and send you over the deets. Can't wait to see you there. Ciao.